Welcome to today's Eagle Insider. Joining me from the Shattern State men's basketball team, shooting guard Christopher Smith, senior out of Pasadena, California. Chris, it's great to have you in the studio today. Now, up in this point in the season, it's been a little up and down for the men's team, but you guys have been able to get a couple wins here towards the end. What's been the mindset that has kept you guys together? Well, the mindset is basically, you know, finishing the season out strong. Like you said, we have a lot of ups and downs. We had a lot of forks in the road, uh, losing a few teammates uh, before and during the season. So, you know, we just been trying to stick together as a family, you know, like, before, before, like every break, we always say family. So, and you know, we kind of take that to heart. And, you know, we hang out with each other on and off the court. And it's just, you know, try to be a family for each other. With the ups and downs, you guys were able to beat Regis the other night. Uphanded a loss when you guys were on the road back over winter break. You guys had a 12 point lead about with four and a half minutes to go. And a 25 8 run by Regis helped them seal the deal at home. What was the mindset going into that game, trying to get that win at home at the Chicoin Center? Well, you know, we just reminded ourselves of, one, the, the first thing was about Regis, you know, like that was a team that we were supposed to beat and we kind of faded at the end. Let that one slip away. We let that slip away, you know, and uh, we kind of reminded ourselves throughout that week of practice just to remember, like, you know, like every team is here to play no matter what the record is, you know, you have to come to play otherwise you can lose. And I feel like when we were, when we were there at Regis, we kind of took them lightly and you could tell just how we were just like, you know, execution on the floor and we weren't, we just weren't there together as a team. And so this, this go around, we tried to, you know, we worked on efficiency and actually finishing strong and actually playing for a full 40 minutes instead of 39 minutes because at Regis, that last minute is what burned us. So that's what we tried to do. And then the second reason, you know, uh, recently we just had a, a passing of an Eagle a student athlete, uh, Fatima. And so that, that game was bigger than us. So we just went out and was like, man, we have to do this for Fatima and the softball girls. You reminded that Shattern State is a family, not just a college where students come to play or get classes and get their degree, right? Yes, definitely. Definitely. I feel like it's a family atmosphere here at this college. You know, we all support each other, whether it be football, basketball, wrestling, track, we all support each other. We're most, most of our fan base is the athletes, so. Now speaking of efficiency, you guys have put up some more points scoring-wise defensively. You've been able to hold teams back. Looking back at that weekend against New Mexico Highlands in Western New Mexico, two close games, lost by a combined total of three points, but Coach Bargain said in an interview that it was probably the best basketball you guys have played. Speaking from an efficiency standpoint, How's that felt on the offensive side of the ball for you personally? Well, you know, I feel, I feel good when it comes to, you know, when I get the ball, I feel like, you know, I want to shoot. I want to, you know, help my team the best way possible. Uh, you know, if I'm getting double teamed, pass to get the easier shot. Uh, efficiency, efficiency wise, uh, in the Mexico trip, we went to New Mexico. Uh, that was our, I think we believe we had 98. Yes, yeah, so you had 98 yeah, against we New Mexico Highlands. And so I think that was our season high, actually. And uh, then we played the next day at uh, Western New Mexico, and that was a pretty high-scoring game, too. And uh, the Western New Mexico game, I had caught food poisoning Ooh. that morning. So I, didn't, I, wasn't, I was unable to uh, play that game because I couldn't hold anything down. So, yeah, but it was, it was good for the team to actually build our confidence to believe that we could score because – it, it came to a point of the season where we used to, we used to say we're not going to be able to score 80 points. So defensively, we have to hold people to the six between 60, 60 to 70 points in order for us to win. You know, and then when with that when that weekend happened, it just helped. It helped. It boost helped the you guys realize and realize that we can you know do you guys better, can score that we can score the ball. Now, this is the last part of the season. You've got two more games left here at home against Colorado Christian University on Friday, 13th, and then on February 14th, it's senior night for you. What have your emotions been like these last few weeks, knowing that this is probably going to be some of your last few games in college basketball? I think about it every day, man. I think I just see the, I look at the clock and I just see it's ticking, man. And, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a, like a humbling feeling at the end because, you know, it's like all the hard work that you put in throughout the years, starting from elementary school and from high school and then from going to junior college and then earning a scholarship, going coming here, 
it's it's been a humbling experience. It's been an eye opening experience, and like honestly, basketball is like life, man. And you know that's how I'm kind of treating it as like you know you have your ups and downs, you have your good days and your bad days, but at the end of the day you got to keep fighting, you know. And that's kind of what I've been thinking about as I continue to open up a new chapter in my life. Now with this heavy senior group that you're a part of for Coach Bargain, what has it been like for you guys as a group? Are you guys pretty close? Are you guys pretty much like a family, like you said, have you had your moments on and off the court with each other? Yeah, man, we have a lot of we have a lot of funny moments, man. Kendrick, Joe, Evan, man, we hang out a lot, you know. Well, you know, we, we practice a lot, so of course we hang out a lot, but you know, we do things like we go to dinners and stuff, we you know, chill in each other's rooms, have movie nights, bring the guys together. And also we, we try to show that leadership of camaraderie to, for the younger freshmen and people that are coming in that are new to the program to know because without chemistry, it's hard to win games. Now, outside of basketball and athletics in general, actually, who do you look up to as an athlete? Man, I look up to a lot of people, not really, I wouldn't say I look to specifically to one person. I take bits and pieces from a lot of people, you know. Like, uh, honestly, you know, one, one big impact person in my life was my dad, you know. He, uh, he pushed me. He pushed me a lot when, when things were going down. He always, he always kept it real with me, letting me know, like, you know, if I'm playing bad or if I'm making a bad decision or even uh, academic-wise, you know, like, what career I need to pursue and, like, where the money is, and then I just look at people like, for player-wise, I look at people like Kyrie Irving, like, you know, like, even though he's around my age, like, just his work ethic, you know, and, um, man, people, you know, Martin Luther King, we could give him, we could give him too, just as far as, as far as, you know, being a leader, you know, like, he's somebody that I really kind of study and look up to, him and Malcolm, Malcolm X, kind of, you know, I look up to them a lot. They're, they're a positive influence. And, you know, it's just like they're, they're for the advancement, you know, like of progression, you know. And that's the type of person I want to be. I don't want to be that person that's just at a standstill. I want to continually progress throughout my life. And be a leader for somebody else someday. Right. Now, what's been your highlight of the season on and off the court? Whew. That's a good question, man. And you still got two games left in the season, but up to this point, what would you say has been the highlight of the season for you guys as a team? Mm. Well, as a team? Yeah, as let's go team. as a team. As a team, I believe, I believe that a highlight this year would be, will probably be the Regis game. The Regis game at home that we just played. Uh, that really brought, brought a lot of us together. Just not just us as a team, but us as a campus. It brought us together, you know, and then uh, all like off the floor, the highlight will probably be when we went to uh, when we go we go to Country Kid like uh, during winter break. Yeah, we used to go to dinners because you know campus was closed, so they have to feed us, and we go to dinners, and we were just it was just a good time every dinner to the point to where we were embarrassing our coach just because you know we were just sometimes we were wild, we were wild and we were loud. And we would say things that most people wouldn't want us to say in a public scene. So, you know, and we used to get our, we used to purposely embarrass our coach. Acting know? like that dysfunctional yeah, family. And coach yeah. Bargain's the dad's like, yeah. oh, I can't believe oh, no. these kids Co are mine. Coach Bargain would come sometimes, <laughs> but it would be Coach Lazier, the assistant coach. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and he gets so red. But he's just like so nervous, but he's laughing because he understands. But, you know, it's just, it's a good thing, you know, it brought us together a lot. As, as far as off the floor, you know, because it's, it's, it's hard to be a solid team when you can't hang out off the floor. You got to have that chemistry, not just on the court, that. but you got to be friends all the time. And yeah. as a team, both for you and the women's team in this Shattern State campus, I think you guys have really brought a lot of people together from what you did this past weekend against Regis and just how you guys play and how you act. It's, it's been a lot of fun broadcasting for you guys, and I wish you all the best going forward after college. And again, thank you for joining us in the studio today. I appreciate that.